Hey everybody, I'm Elle with High Reality and this is going to be my spoiler review for Thor Ragnarok. Oh yeah. <laughs> I honestly, um, if you're looking for a review that's gonna be hating on this movie then leave right now because I did not find any I mean yeah of course there's always problems with movies but honestly for comic book movies it's really difficult for it's really difficult to find you know problems when I think <laughs> I mean, you try making a comic book movie, you know? People complain all the time. Oh, this wasn't done right. Oh, this character was... No, you try making a comic book movie, okay? Um, <laughs> this movie was amazing. It was amazing. For me it was cuz I'm a I'm a hardcore Thor fan. Okay? I I I should be wearing my Thor shirt, but honestly, it's it makes me all hot. The material of the shirt is like way too hot. Thor lost his hammer. Even lost an eye. And people are hating on him. Okay? Not right. The first 20 minutes of this movie, him fighting in the underworld where Surtur was and fighting Surtur, which was... Shout outs to Clancy Brown. He is great. He's a great voice actor. Um, that first fight scene, like, was better f for me. This is m my review, okay? My opinion. If you don't like it, then leave, okay? That first five, ten minutes. Of him whooping ass was like better than the first two Thor movies, okay? <laughs> like the action in the fight, like scenes, like the choreography, especially for Hela, was amazing. So, oh, gave me gave me goosebumps. It was in the theater. It was so. So good. But before I get into the real stuff, um, the first 20 minutes, right? Uh, he comes back to Asgard <laughs> with Surtur's freaking crown, whatever, horns. What did he call them? Cat ears? Or what did he think? Oh, he said, I thought those were your eyebrows. <laughs> okay, Taika Waititi, I freaking love you. I knew you would deliver in the comedy, and you did. You're so damn funny. I freaking love you. Um, so when he walks in, and uh, thinking, oh yeah, yeah, his father is really watching, uh, uh, you know, a scene, uh, a drama, uh, <laughs> live action. <laughs> Freaking Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon, okay, and I believe it was actually Chris Hemsworth, one of his brothers that played Th Thor. <laughs> In that little scene. 
I was dying when I saw Matt Damon as Loki. <laughs> oh man! And if you don't, if you watch the Jimmy Kimmel show, they've had this running gag for Matt Damon. <laughs> It's so, it's so funny. It's great. Um, but besides that, off, off topic. Um, yeah, so honestly, this movie really delivered. I don't care if it had problems. I don't think it did. I just think that the more, uh, the, the story, it moved very fast. Everything was explained. It was. People are saying there's gaps. I don't I didn't see any gaps. I was paying attention to it. I trust me. I love Thor. And if you don't do Thor movie right, then I would notice because I noticed Thor was done right. He lost his hammer. Unfortunately, the storyline that they used for Hela was different, but I did not dislike it. I, I like that they made Hela their, uh, their sister. But in most of the comics for Thor, um, Hela is Loki's daughter. And seeing that she was Odin's firstborn, first and only daughter, and it showed the backstory and how Odin was not a great guy in the first th uh, thousands of years of his life. Odin was not a good guy. And he came to terms with that when he was speaking to his sons. I hate how no one, everyone, not everyone, but... I don't like watching reviews by other people anymore because honestly it kills the magic for me when I know these movies are so good. You try making a movie that uh, killed it in the box office making over 60 million over the weekend or 68 million or something like that. You try making that movie, okay? <laughs> okay, so, hold on. Um, yeah. So, this movie had the comedy. So good. The comedy was so funny. Taika Waititi did Korg's voice. He had to include himself in it. Just like, I please, if you have not seen this movie he was in and directed, Taika Waititi did a movie called What We Do in the Shadows. It's like a vampire, like, realistic type mockumentary. And oh my god. Is it, it's so funny. Like, I haven't seen original stuff like that in, in ages. Like, like, it's a bit kind of like Monty Python humor. Like, that's, that's his humor. He has his own humor, actually. But he has these original ideas. They're so good. <laughs> okay. And he did Korg's voice, and he was hilarious. And I get that people want a serious tone, but it's Disney. And kids love Thor, so they had to make it uppity and everything like that. But at the same time, you see Hela killing people left and right, the... A lot of the main characters from the first and second Thor, he, she killed Volstagg, uh, Fandral, 
and uh, even Hogan, right? And a shit ton of Asgardian warriors. She just slaughters them. Slaughters. And it showed her slaughtering the Valkyries. And it showed her backstory. It did. Unfortunately, I wish we saw more. Like, wow. I liked that they made her Odin's daughter. That was really good. Um, and, um... I guess she bites the dust in the end and uh, Ragnarok happens. Ragnarok happens. Asgard exploded. It exploded. Okay. It exploded. But Asgard is a people, not a place. Like they said in the movie, right? <laughs> um he was he was talking you know the 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 structure you know it it looks like it's, it could be rebuilt and then no nah, it just turned into dust <laughs> Taika Waititi always always busting out the good jokes and about the hammer <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Hella amazing. Loki had no choice because he's like, oh, shit. The hammer broke. What am I afraid of right now? I'm afraid of my own sister that I had no idea that I had. You know? So, in a way, he did want to help, but then, of course, Thor knows the kind of guy he is, and he completely took precautions on on his uh, trickster, uh, his trick, his trickster notions, his trickster uh, personality. <laughs> And Valkyrie was good. She was good. She was a good character. Um, last but not least, Hulk. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it when he was trying to talk to him. The sun is going down. The sun is real low. In the arena, like, no, nah, bro, it's been two years. He He's not the same guy. He's not going to listen to you. <laughs> he's about to whoop your ass. But then uh, Thor was kicking his ass and freaking Grandmaster started, uh, zapped him. And, uh, you know, with the Planet Hulk comics and the... Thor Ragnarok comics, they mash those two together very well. They included a lot of aspects like those uh, torture chips that are on everybody. They did those, or whatever, slave chips. Um, they added that, even the characters, Meek and Korg. <laughs> um, I was hoping to see the pink girl. Uh, but she wasn't in there. Uh, but still, good enough, you know, story, uh, characters. And it was great. It was, see the animation for Hulk? It's not easy to do. And with her, her uh, Valkyrie and him, like, play wrestling or whatever, that was such a good scene, in my opinion. I think that was really well done. This movie, by far, was really well executed. Uh, him, uh, Thor, 
using his powers like he's supposed to be using his powers without the hammer. That was really, that was really good. Um, I don't care. The music fit in so great uh, with him kicking ass. He was kicking ass, man. And I cannot wait to see what kind of power, how much his power levels are going to go up in Infinity War. His power is really great, actually. He has some pretty, you know, his powers are pretty darn strong. Um, his fight scenes were great. Loki didn't really have any fight scenes. Barely. Barely, barely, barely. Uh, except for, you know, I mean, I saw it last week on Thursday. And I think I'm going to see it again tomorrow. But I'm trying to remember everything. And um, that was... Um, the scene, he kept saying, the sun is real low, the sun is real low, to Banner. <laughs> he kept talking to Banner like he was Hulk. <laughs> and just kept messing around, like, whatever. Like, no, I prefer you, I prefer you. And then to Hulk, I prefer you, I prefer you. <laughs> that was, that was really funny. Um, and... I really liked Scourge because he was just misguided. Scourge was misguided. Um, I like how he helped in the end. Unfortunately, he goes. Um, <laughs> Dis and Troy. <laughs> and before he even said it in the theater, I'm like, destroy! <laughs> That's that's his humor, man. Taika Waititi's humor, dude. So funny. <laughs> um, oh, sorry. Put on fake lashes if you can see. No, just whatever. Okay. Um, what else can I say about this movie? I mean, oh, duh. <laughs> that Doctor Strange. <laughs> The scene with Doctor Strange was epic. <laughs> Showed how much his powers increased, dude. How well he got with using his powers. Doctor Strange. <laughs> oh, I love you, Benedict. I love you, Benedict. And seeing that scene was totally epic. <laughs> Loki was falling for 30 minutes. Loki falling for 30 minutes. Hey, you deserve that. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Um, oh, I don't know what else to think of. Uh, man, this movie really delivered. Because, see, the first two movies had his love interest, Jane. And, uh, yeah. Um, it kind of killed the movie in a way. Like, it kind of killed the magic in a, in a sort, in, in a, in a way. Sorry, I can't speak. It's just sometimes I'm like, what? <laughs> um, yeah. So glad there was no love interest so glad it was action packed. So glad everything fit into place. Um, I believe it did. And I give this movie a 9 out of 10. Honestly, I would give it a 10 out of 10. 
but to be realistic, I guess a 9 out of 10. <laughs> but, um, okay, I don't know. Man, um, overall, such a great, great film. And for... For Marvel, Disney, very good. Very, very good. Okay, um, I think I'm done. Uh, I wish I can keep going, but my tech is limited and I can only record for so long. Um, Hopefully I improve with that sooner or later, but this is the best I can do. I'm disabled, unfortunately. You can't tell. Uh, I'm like X-23. <laughs> I got rods and pins. Two rods. 14 pins and screws in my spine from scoliosis. If you know what that is, it's when your spine has a curvature. And mine was literally an S. Okay, and uh, working on getting disability, no money, so this is the best I can do with my phone. And this has been my spoiler review for Thor Ragnarok. Thank you for watching. I'm Elle with High Reality. Bye bye.